Hi, I'm Brian Goulet here, a co-founder of GouletPens.com, and I have been so excited to bring this video to you for, oh, I've been waiting for about a year and a half now. Because ever since November of 2012, when Pilot came out with the Metropolitan Fountain Pen, I knew that that pen was going to be just an epic, epic fountain pen. I touted it as one of the best values in the fountain pen world at the time, and that has held up over the last year and a half. Now, they only had three colors back then, black, gold, and silver, relatively plain. Since then, they've come out with some animal print pens, some different colors. But if there was one thing, one thing that was missing from the pen, it was the fact that they only had a medium nib available on it. Now, granted, this is a Japanese medium we're talking about here. So it's a little bit finer than most of your European fountain pens. Uh, so, you know, if you have a pen like a Lamy or a Pelican or something, it's going to be more like a fine nib in those pens, which is good because the finer nibs tend to be a little more popular, especially here in the U.S. where our paper quality is not that great. People like to have the finer nibs. So the medium has been not ideal, but still acceptable because it's that Japanese. However, Ever since I found out that they were gonna be coming out with a fine nib in this pen, oh man, I got so excited. Because it's a $15 pen, comes with a converter, it's durable, it performs great, it's just a superb pen. And the fact that this thing now has a fine nib is just, is just awesome. Awesome, awesome, I'm so psyched about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about it a little bit, show you kind of the details of it. Um, I definitely wanna compare it to the Pilot Prera because the nibs are identical to the Metropolitan and the Prera. And I thought I'd go ahead and compare it to a Lamy as well because I know that's another popular kind of starter fountain pen. So here goes. Since there are so many people out there that already have the medium nib Metropolitan, I'm gonna go ahead and compare the medium to the fine so that you know, is there really that much of a difference between the two? So I have here a Violet Leopard with um, a medium nib and the Bronze Lizard with a fine nib. And I've inked up both pens with my favorite of Pilot inks, Pilot Roshizuku Kanpeki. So here I have the medium nib Pilot Metropolitan. I'll go ahead and give this one a test. Very smooth. And this is with Konpeki. All of these are gonna be with Konpeki. Okay, and then give you some X's and O's. Figure eights anyway. There you go. So that's the medium. Now does a fine really make a difference? Well, you tell me. Again, this is Con Pecky. Now this is on Rhodia paper, but that is a pretty substantial difference. Comparing the Metropolitan to the Prera, the nibs themselves are actually identical. Other than the engraving that you see on the surface of the nib, the two look the same. So on the Prera nib, there is uh, an imprinted engraving. It's not really an engraving, a stamping, if you will. Uh, on the Metropolitan, it seems to be some kind of laser etching or something, but that's really just superficial. The nibs themselves are the same size, same shape. Now the general shape is the same. You can actually remove the nib and the feed from both pens. Sometimes it can be a little tough. This one fought me a little bit the first time, but it's, it's been good coming out ever since. The feed is the same on both of them. It's also the same on the Plumix, on the um, 78G, the penmanship. So you got lots of options as far as swapping them out. Pilot doesn't sell their nibs separately, but you can swap them out between a few of their pens anyway. Um, and so you see here the general shape and everything is identical on both the Prayer and the Metropolitan. So let's check out how the fine Metropolitan stacks up to the fine Pilot Prera. Again, this is Konpeki. <laughs> to my eye, these look to be completely identical. 
Now let's compare it to an extra fine Lamy nib. Conpecky again. Noticing I'm getting a little bit more ink down. The line's not necessarily much broader, but the ink definitely looks darker in the Vista. And I would say that, yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty darn close as far as the line goes, but if you really like the Lamy Extra Fine, then the Prera Fine is gonna be your ticket. Just for ha-has, I've got the Lamy Fine Nib on here too. Just to give you some perspective, this is another Vista, but you know, these nibs are the same on all the Lamy pens. Con Pecky one more time. And these are all on a fresh inking up too. So that's about as evenly comparable as I can get. So from my analysis here, the Lamy Vista Fine is really more like the Metropolitan Medium, right? The Metropolitan Fine, exact same as the Prera Fine, and is very comparable, if not a little bit finer than the Lamy Extra Fine. Well, I know you're probably as excited as I am about these Metropolitan Fines. As you can see, they definitely live up to it. And what's most surprising is how smooth they are. To get a nib that's this fine and writes as smoothly as this pen does is quite impressive. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it on this pen too. I think that this is actually gonna bump the Pilot Metropolitan in medium for being the best starter fountain pen out there. At 15 bucks, man, you just really can't beat the fine Metropolitan. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to see more like it. Leave me a comment on YouTube or on Ink Nouveau. And I'm happy to hear what you have to say about this pen. Thanks so much for watching and right on.